Hi friends, welcome to Selenium Automation Testing Channel. So I have attended for interviews for Selenium. So for automation testing engineering role. So they asked a question in one of the interview. So <clears throat> they have given a input string A equal to hello and string B equal to old. So here I need to, I need to get, I, uh, I should get a output like this. A equal to old and B equal to hello. So here without using this third variable concept, I should get the output. So that is the expected output they have asked. And I should not use it, uh, this concept without using third variable means A equal to B, B equal to A in this way I can try. But I should not use this one and I should write the program. So this is the interview question. So for that one, uh, I'm going to explain. So I have taken a two string a equal to hello and b equal to old. So here I'm going to use a substring concept. First, I'm going to explain the substring concept. So I have taken the string as such in ten looker. So here I will use substring method and I will ext extract up to such in. So up to such in I will extract the char characters. For that one I will use the method substring method. So here I will use the beginning index and end index method because uh, beginning index is zero and end index is up to that characters I need to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So beginning index I will take 0. I will take 6. Now I will print the output. So I will call the method. So I have extracted up to search in. In next step, I need to extract the 10 looker. So in next step, I will, I need to extract the 10 looker. For that one, I'm going to use the method. So here I'm using direct index. I'm not using beginning index and last index. So here I will start with six. So it will print the one, two, three, four, five, six. Up to six, uh, it will uh, take and so character starts from 10 looker. Rest of the characters would be printed here. So I have got the output, right? Next step, uh, I'm going to do, so I will take a string, uh, this one only. So I'm going to so here I'm concatenating the string. So that I will get the output as a, like this, hello world. Okay. So 
here i am using substring concept in this hello world uh, for b character i need to get hello that's why in this hello i need to extract up to here this character so so that is a process i am doing here So here I will take a dot length and b dot length method I will take. So here a dot length means it I will get the 10. For example, I will print. So here, uh, in this way, here I am going to do zero minus ten minus five. So I will get five. So I will get the hollow character would be extracted. That is a uh, by using this method eighteenth line. I will get hollow character. Next step, I will use. So here I'm you. I need to get the world. So uh, in this ten, uh, in this hello world, b dot length would be five. After five, I will get the old. So in this way, uh, I will get the character because in this hello world, uh, in this hello world, I will get the. B dot length would be five. So that would be uh, I would get the world because in the A I want the only world. That is the point I need to extract right. Example in this. I need to extract only world. direct five characters so after hello world would be printed that is a principle i am applying here next step i am printing the values After swapping, what I am printing? Those content I am printing. So here I am using concatenation method. I'm printing the output. So. Uh, as we expected, B value should get the hollow. I have, I have got the output as hollow. And A value should get old. So I have achieved the old. This is the expected output. Uh, interview has been expected. So I have got the output by using this principle and these methods. Thanks for watching the video.